，你好，祝你有美好的一天。这就是频道 Celebrity News Today 两百四十七，这是今天的新闻。Michelle Yeoh won the Golden Globe Award for Best Actress. Please shut up. I can really beat you up. Please shut up. I can really beat you. On January 10, 2023, local time. At the Golden Globe Awards ceremony, Michelle Yeoh was dressed in a black evening dress and delivered her acceptance speech with a trembling voice when she talked about how, as a woman over 60, she had fewer and fewer opportunities in the workplace. The voice also choked up slightly. At this time, the music urging her to speak time was played on the stage. She cleverly turned her head and smacked the background sound, and then kept the rhythm amidst the laughter of the crowd. Finished all her acceptance speeches. The phrase "I can really beat you up" is a pun. On the one hand, it summarizes her image of beating girls for decades. On the one hand, it is also reminiscent of the transient universe that won her the Golden Globe Award for Best Actress. Roll in. She had waited 40 years for the scene of holding the trophy with the role of Evelyn Wang in the movie The Instant Universe. Michelle Yeoh won the Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a Musical or Comedy category. This pair has been in Hollywood for many years with the image of beating girls. For her, who has been lacking an acting award, it is a huge affirmation. At the same time, she also became the second Asian woman to hold this award on January 10, 2023, local time in California, the United States. The backstage of the 80th American Film and Television Golden Globe Awards. Michelle Yeoh won the Best Actress in a Musical Comedy Film for The Instant Universe, holding the trophy in hand. Photo slash visual China. Michelle Yeoh has always given people the impression that she is a female star who has made her way into the world film world with kung fu, and she is used to showing others with a strong face. As director Ang Lee observed her, she is used to hiding her fragility and showing her strength. Hide the injuries and tears in life behind, and choose to respond to doubts with non-stop persistence. With this persistence, she firmly grasped every opportunity to conquer the audience. In the end, a role tailored for her came. At the age of 60, Michelle Yeoh seems to have some regrets in her career. In the eyes of the audience, she is a well-known Chinese actress, the hit girl in Police Story 3, the heroine who values love and righteousness in Crouching Tiger. Hidden Dragon is also the strong Asian mother in Law and Crazy Rich Asians. But it was only this year that she met this character that perfectly fits herself, the unkempt laundry lady proprietress in the instantaneous universe. The life of the middle-aged laundromat owner Evelyn Wang in the story is in great contrast to hers. Life is difficult, and the whole family points to her hard work to get by. Her cowardly husband, disabled father, and rebellious daughter. Endless tax returns. Everything can send her into a mania. But by chance, her husband told her she can experience life in multiple universes, and the crisis in each universe can only be saved by her. She begins to travel through different lives, and in the process, the tension between her and her family is slowly melting. This is not a glamorous, attractive image of a woman, but it is a script that can make her addicted to the drama. Being able to achieve such a movie is also an accidental arrangement. Film directors Quan Ka, Young, and Daniel Schneider originally wanted to invite Jackie Chan to play the male lead, but Jackie Chan had no schedule at that time. So they began to change their thinking and recreate the script from the perspective of the heroine. Let a frustrated middle-aged woman experience a bizarre life. They even set the protagonist's name as Michelle at the beginning. This is the same as Michelle Yeoh's English name. Michelle Yeoh fell in love with this character. She found herself in it. Can be funny, can be sincere, can be sad. It can do everything that the previous facialized characters did not have. More importantly. Michelle Yeoh sees more than herself in this role. It is the real life of millions of immigrants from Asia. After the finished product comes out, many people were taken aback by the mash-up style of this movie, and even found it difficult to understand. But speaking of all this, Michelle Yeoh couldn't help crying in the interview. At last, she said, "Someone could know that she could do it." The movie also happens to come at a time that suits it. Asian protagonists, female themes, middle. Aged frustration. Put it 10 or 20 years ago, the transient universe may be a weird work, but in today's era, 
This dangerous move to break through the stereotype of the big screen succeeded. Michelle Yeoh will become a dazzling star in the international film circle in 2022. Having been in the industry for 40 years, Michelle Yeoh has collaborated with well, known filmmakers such as Jackie Chan and Ang Lee. Many filmmakers who have worked with each other, when talking about Michelle Yeoh, their first reaction is that she is desperate, not afraid of getting hurt. This kind of recklessness is Michelle Yeoh's biggest advantage in the film industry in the first half of her life. Behind this is her decades of hard work and unspeakable physical torture. Director Ang Lee once recalled many details of working with Michelle Yeoh. The first impression that Michelle Yeoh gave him was this kind of desperate effort and fierceness. When filming Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Michelle Yeoh was injured within a week of filming. She filmed night shift martial arts scenes for several days in a row. As a result, her ligaments were torn and she had to recuperate for a month or two. She is not worried about herself. Instead, he immediately asked Ang Lee, would he lower his request just because he was injured? Ang Lee replied, no. This kind of scene has appeared in Michelle Yeoh's life countless times, and every time it seems to be risking her life. In New Police Story 3, she stands on a truck doing stunts, to jump onto the hood of the car Jackie Chan drives, it didn't seem difficult in her imagination, but when she actually stood on it, everything was shaking. When she jumped, the protective mechanism failed and she fell to the side, but luckily Jackie Chan grabbed her by the clothes. When filming Age in Story, she fell from a high platform. This hardship, it was her destiny to choose the film industry in Hong Kong in the 1980s and 1990s. Once Michelle Yeoh lived a wealthy life, she started learning ballet, painting and other talents since she was a child. At the age of 21, she became Miss Malaysia. After entering the film circle, at the beginning, like Lin Quanxia and others, she plays a weak female role. Later, after the suggestion of Sammo Hung Sr., she began to transform to learn martial arts, playing sandbags, kicking legs, and training indiscriminately from other martial arts men. One filming, one desperate effort, over time, taking risks and going bravely became a habit. Such efforts were not in vain. In 1997, Michelle Yeoh relied on a series of excellent fighting scenes in Hong Kong films, become the only Bond girl in 007, Tomorrow Never Dies, in which, the Bond girl she plays is not just a vase, but an extremely independent female image. Some people commented that her work broke Hollywood stereotypes. And this time, she finally surpassed herself in all aspects in her performance in the instantaneous universe. It's a dizzying work of mash, of genres and complex presentations, illusion and reality, detachment and devotion, irony and warmth madness and tenderness. All the contradictions are gathered in this story, especially in the heroine played by Michelle Yeoh. She has to switch, sway, and connect in different states to make the audience believe in the characters in each universe. This work with an investment of only 25 million US dollars may not be dazzling at the box office, but with Michelle Yeoh's acting skills and the director's control, it contributed a very different viewing experience. At the same time, Michelle Yeoh herself may have gained the fullest and most complicated acting experience in decades of filming. A Chinese actress who has struggled for half her life broke through the ceiling again.